Hi, I'm Evangelist Andrew Palau in Portland, Oregon. Let's read Luke 1240 together. Jesus is talking about his return when he says, You also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. So how do we get ready for Jesus' return? Do we hurry up to be perfect, hustling to serve more so we won't get mad? No, he already knows we're not perfect. That's why he came the first time, right? He's not trying to scare us into doing more. Earlier in the passage, Jesus says we're to be like servants waiting for their master to come home from a wedding feast. When I was a child waiting for a guest to arrive at our house, I'd get so excited looking out the window, waiting, everything in order, ready to greet that person I'd been longing to be with. We know with certainty something wonderful is coming and it fills our life with purpose and a joyful, holy expectation. And it could be at any moment. His second coming, it's not an abstract idea, far off and fictional. It changes how we live. The Son of God is returning. It will be literal, personal. And in a moment, every knee will bow, every tongue confess, Jesus Christ is Lord. That's for real. So to be ready is to live your life now in light of what's to come. My dad copied the habit of an old Scottish poet. Every morning, this man stood by his window, looked heavenward and said, maybe today, Lord. My father lived this way also. And for me, I put it as the label on my morning alarm, reminding me daily. And it says, maybe today. You can think of different ways for yourself to keep it in your mind. Let the anticipation of seeing him face to face guide everything you do, stirring up a boldness to share with the world. Good news, the guest of honor will soon return and he's better than you could have ever imagined.